My name is Hannah Johnson, I'm the social media executive for uh, Barry Social Media. Um, this presentation is mostly about how funny I think Taco Bell are on Twitter, but there is some relative, uh, relevant marketing theory and um, some advice for people on Twitter. Okay, so just a little bit of background about me. Um, I only graduated this July, so I am new to the working world, but I'm definitely not new to social media and to technology. Um, I got my first mobile phone age 7, my first personal laptop age 12, and I've always had access to a family computer, so I've always been online. In terms of social media, when uh, the first sort of social networks launched, I was on them. I can't log into it anymore, but I can see my profile of my feed when I was, when I was I think I was 13. And my, uh, my MySpace from I think 2005. Uh, the, <laughs> they are quite embarrassing, and I can't log into them anymore. But they're there forever, just so I can see what I was like as a teenager on social media. Um, well, much of what I'm talking about uh, just uh, it applies to all social media. I am focusing. Oh. <laughs> I am focusing on Twitter. Um, behind me are a few facts which make it clear why businesses want to be on Twitter. Um, it's because it's big and it's because it works. Um, however, anyone who um, uses the platform regularly will know that there is a divide between how businesses use Twitter and how people use Twitter. Businesses push their products and positive information about their brand, and some, but not all, directly answer advertising questions. These are all necessary um, aspects and do have a, a place, but we barely scratch the surface of what you can do on Twitter. Okay, as a comparison, individuals are tweeting humorous statements about their lives, things that are happening, pop culture references, and just general jokes. On the other hand, uh, businesses tend to have four favourite types of tweets. There's the, here's a product, which is little more than a link. The, tell us how you're using the product, such as the laughing cow reference. Um, the competition tweet and the special offer tweet. And again, these are uh, needed and necessary for any business campaign, but there, um, there's a lot more to it. Um, they're also, although they are necessary, they're impersonal, unengaging and very predictable. So, these tweets which are often formal and professional, which is the natural way for a business to go, may not always be the best way to interact with your uh, target demographic. There's a lot of psychological studies uh, showing that if you want to get someone to do what you want, in this case, possibly buy something, you have to communicate with them on, in their language, their slang, their tone. And this, um, this is, the studies are in face to face conversation, but it does still apply to social media. Best on social media use both the favourite types of business tweets and, and the uh, general types of tweets, such as the applies. And if individuals are using humour as a primary purpose, why can't companies use Twitter in a similar manner? So, who's doing it right? I've picked three examples uh, Domino's, Walmart, my personal favourite, Taco Bell. They manage to push products whilst developing the personality, but what is it that they're doing? So right. They're talking about what their audience talks about. Taco Bell knows its demographic. Um, it's aimed primarily at teenagers and students. Uh, mean Girls for that generation is the new cult classic. And just by finishing up a quote from the movie, they went viral. So I didn't pick this up off Twitter. I picked this up from some other website. I think it was Mean Base or something completely unrelated. And there are several examples like this one which have gone viral, which is what has drawn me to follow the Taco Bell account. And Taco Bell, um, for those of you who don't know, is an American fast food restaurant which isn't popular here at all. There are two in the UK, they're both in London, and I've never visited them. There's one in Manchester, sorry. Oh, there's one in Manchester now. <laughs> okay, there are now three then. <laughs> um, I just know this shit. <laughs> 